Good evening, folks, and welcome back to Bug Snacks. So, uh, if my playtime doesn't look as much as it should, because we were playing for three hours last week, I went to test something in another file and then went, okay, I don't need this file anymore. I can get rid of it. So I went to the options menu to delete my save data, and it was like, Surely, when I click this, I will get an option to delete a specific file. No, it got rid of everything, so I had to rush back through the first three hours of the game. Fast as I could. Going, oh my god, I need to get all my scans, I need to get all the grumpuses back! But as you can see, it only took, like, roughly an hour. <laughs> because I mashed through all the dialogue and knew what to do. So, um... If you get bugs next, you can't delete your files one at a time. Now you know. But uh, we're back to where we were. I didn't complete anything that you guys haven't seen. All our side quests are in order. I have the bag slots that I had. Everything's all good. I think the only difference is that I remembered to scan the freaking ketchup flowers this time. Alright, so... Let's see. Hey, how's it going, Gramble? Hey. All right. So let me see. Let me look at our side quests. All right. Wiggle wants some sandipede. Befica wants to know what Wiggle does at midnight. I've got all of the uh, interviews down so far. I love the art that's like scribbled here. This is this is how our journalist draws people. Hi, Wiggle and Philbo. I am looking. All right. All right. I know. Last time uh, we got some ideas for how to get Cromdo back. So I'm going to go. Um, act on those. After that, we will do the Ghost Stories event. Let's see, he wanted cheap poofs, but they just fly around, so... What we need to do... I think it was Peko who suggested launching the snack trap with the launch pad. The launch pad. And then we can give Kronto a snack. Oh, and uh, here's our bunker. All right. Here it comes. Ah, I got bungered. Okay, so we need our lunch pad, and we need our snack trap. in the cheap poof slight path and we missed because of my own lack of depth perception I think this is the right idea maybe if I do it closer to the ground so that I can actually see what I am freaking doing Gotta find uh, three cheapoos for Grondo, I believe, is what he wanted. Whoa, what was that? Ooh, I didn't see that. Zips around fast enough to evade traps, but eventually settles down to rest. Right. Spuddy, leave me alone. Spapenos. More poptics. Uh, 
<laughs> Take that, Spuddies. Buddy. Take that, Spuddies. Dummies. I'm not seeing any more cheap poof. Ooh, hello. Sweet Rider. Sweeter in flavor, true, but it still acts salty. Heh <laughs> It likes ketchup and ranch and... I don't think we have that sauce yet. It does not look like I can aim myself far enough. Although that would be very funny. Let's make it ketchup flavored. So that uh, the fryer actually wants to go in. Oh my gosh! It leapt around! Nice! Alright, um, right. I think we might have missed our cheap poof window for getting a bunch, so. But you know what? That's okay. We can always come back later. Because I think he specifically wants the orange cheap poofs. Alright, that's a white cheap poof up there, I think. White cheap poof. Comes out exclusively during the night time. Yes, hi Bunger. You're a dork, Bunger. I'm trying to see what treats you like, Bunger. Get kept up. <laughs> You're not a very smart fellow, are you, Bunger? Nope. Uh. Well, he's stuck now. Right. Well, even though Kromdo doesn't want this kind of cheap poof. Successfully decks to the cheap poof. Fuff says the bunger has already begun. Yeah, can't get me now, bunger. Alright. I might have to come back for. Oh! Oh no! The counter went up! He doesn't care what kind of cheap poof it is. That makes this a lot easier. Okay, cool. Any sort of cheap poof. I'm kind of surprised he's not being pickier. Since Kromdo appears to be a skeevy little guy. Alright. Hey. Bup. You want cheap poofs. Alright. Cheap! <laughs> 
We will give you little matching chipu feet. We're glad you're enjoying your chipus. And we'll make your left hand a chipu. There you go, buddy. Okay, okay. I know you're just itching to get your paws on that bridge. So, I'll cut you a deal, friend. I want a fighter, but it's on this ridiculously tall rock. And I wasn't exactly blessed with stilts for legs. Well, um, you are in luck because I caught the freighter also. Mmm, what's that? Oh boy. Freighter. Let's just. <laughs> there you go. Pleasure doing business with you. Hey, you're my best and only customer. I'm starting to think I should get a better location back in Snacksburg. But uh, moving all this inventory across the desert is real sweaty work. I'll need a way to keep cool. If you make both my feet into big bopsicles, uh, then walking the hot sands would be a breeze. But I gotta warn you, you won't find bopsicles in the desert. Better look elsewhere, pal. <laughs> all right, so... Gromdo wants bobsicles, but we don't actually have the area where bobsicles live yet. So. We are gonna have to come back to Gromdo. We've done all we can for him. Uh, as for the thing I was looking into. Uh, we can actually change our fur color. So... As you can see, we now have bright yellow fur. I know it only really affects our arms. Like, a little bit. But it's still a nice touch. We also have green, black, and purple, and a sort of periwinkle color. It's a preview. Don't you have an entire body if you look down? We have a shadow if we look down. Oh no, there's our tongue. Hello. <laughs> we are Pekka. Pinkish. I want to be pinkish. We want to be pinkish? Okay. Let me find the... Let me see. We don't really have a pink. I can do this though. Again, we don't see it a lot. Because most of the time you're like, oh, I gotta catch frog snakes. There are only so many fur colors, I'm sorry. If I could remember which was my A and which was my B button. try out other colors later we are free to at any time anyway no chromdo for us yet ah that's right i didn't scan swoofy's lab on this file that i had to redo okay. all right it's Almost midnight, so we get to find out what Wiggle does at midnight, I guess. We'll just wait outside like nothing is happening. And we aren't being terrible because Befica asked us to, Bestie.
wanted to. Alright, we gotta find out what Wiggle does at midnight. Right now it looks like sleeping. She goes. Walking along on her little pop tick feet. Oh, Gramble. What you doing? Sleepwalking, apparently. Alright. Fuff says wiggle. Nonsense. What you doing? Come on, Weevil. Don't be shy. Come on, come on. Wiggle needs a midnight snack. You do not. <gasps> Darling! What are you doing here? Nothing. <laughs> I saw the barn door was open. Gramble is sleepwalking through this conversation. I thought she was talking to him because of the timing of that. Oh, so it is. Well, you just let me fix that. <laughs> Good night, darling. Ta-ta! Alright, we found out what Wiggle does at midnight. Fox says, Grandpa, I don't think you're meant to be here right now. He's just sleepwalking. Hey, buddy, you okay? Spra! Huh? Oh, just a bad dream. Hey, bud. Oh, that old coot, Wambus. He thinks bug snacks grow if you plant them in dirt. How does that make any sense? Okay. So long. I thought you wanted to talk to me about your sleepwalking, but all right. Anyway, we found out what uh, Wiggle does at midnight, which is try and eat Gramble snacks. I think we should get some sleep ourselves. <laughs> okay. Great. Befica, I'm here to bother you. Oh, hey, what's up? Wiggle broke into Gramble's bar. OMG. Sounds like Wiggle has a nasty habit. Uh, I feel bad for Gramble. Those two just aren't gonna last. Wiggle is, like, right over there. In my old life, okay. I would have killed to get dirt on Wiggle Wigglebottom. Uh, I used to take pictures for GMZ, you know. And whoever else might be buying. Virapeko, imagine having popcorn feet. The storms are rolling in again. Yeah, I see it. Anyway, we just got some Befica lore. It was presumably some sort of tabloid she used to work for, which is probably why she's like, Hey, bestie, you and I are the same kind. What were you gonna tell me earlier? Oh, right. I almost forgot about that. It's easy to get caught up in nostalgia. Have you found any snack pods yet? A couple. They're the best snack ever because they don't even move. But they're a little hard to find if you aren't observant like me. There might be some hiding by my old cave. And I know a certain Grumpus who might want some. Is it you? One crispy snake pod. <laughs> Bro, I am digging up dirt just for you and you are taking pictures of my backside. What is up with you? Come on, Beth. All right, let's see if we can find the crispy snack pods. Ah, yeah, real observant. Hang on, let me uh, scope it out first. Snacks are going straight to my thighs and my feet, ears, nose, teeth. Like all snacks. Alright, uh, come here. Crispy snack pod. Snack pod. Hopefully she hasn't moved too much. Hey Beth, you want a snacky? You want a snacky pod? Hi. Snack, snack, snack. 
Mmm, yummy. Snack ball. Um, 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 um. Here, have a have a chip hand. You can scoop things. There you go. Can't say I miss that cave, but I do miss these. Thanks, Bestie. Yes, Bestie. You're welcome, Bestie. How are you holding that? Bro, I saw that. <laughs> Supervio. Literal bagworms. Okay, she just doesn't care. Yeah, me too, huh? Yeah? This is standoff. What you gonna do about it? If you're a Pekko, you're not secret shoving mark. <laughs> Her eyes started for a second, she's nervous. Okay, let's see. I wish it tracked your mail quests somewhere. Because I know I've got a bunch of those. Maybe I have to check the mailbox to look at my mail quests. No. Because I know I have some, but I don't remember what they are. Wait. <laughs> sort of shelf little camera you boat. All right, let's see what Philbo wants. Hey, buddy. You've got that party look again. Snacksburg is looking pretty busy tonight. Seems like a great time to gather everybody around the old campfire. Sure, why not? Ah, oh, nothing like a campfire, eh, buddies? Beats sitting in the dark. I tell you, there's some spooky stuff out there. <laughs> there ain't nothing out there, just bug snacks and trees. You're just yellow. I'm not yellow, I'm pink. <laughs> there's really something stalking me, watching me from the shadows. Keeps me up at night. I've seen something similar up on top of the canyon. Real curious. Probably just a wild animal. Darling, there are no animals here. None but we, that is. I, uh, I too saw the thing. Can we talk about something else? You know, the desert grumps, they had some odd rituals. They'd take their old and dying and seal them in secret caves. <gasps> Whatever for? Were the dead going to rise from the grave? No, not as such. It's more the bodies would just disappear. What? Hell. The writing's kind of vague, sadly. All I know is they had a rash of vanishing corpses. Cheerful. Long as they were exposed, well, heck, even if they buried them in the sand, the body wouldn't be there the next day. Though some of the time, there'd be a little left. Just a few bones. I'm getting a chill just thinking about it. You're getting a chill because the fire's gone out. <clears throat> oh, you're right. Uh, hey, buddy, would you mind picking up some firewood? It's over by the mill. <laughs> sure. I'm sure everything's normal. Ooh, that was a lightning flash. Uh, firewood, firewood. Firewood, firewood. Firewood. Hey, everyone, I'm back. Okay. Where were we? Um, Triffany, you were saying something about the zombies? <laughs> no, no zombies. Listen, spooky as the disappearing stiffs may be, that's just a story I read on a wall. We got nothing to fear from the dead. I'm more worried about the living. The living? Obviously, we're not the first Grumpuses to make it to Snack Tooth. So what makes us think all the others are dead? I've seen those chewed up skeletons around the island. We all know something kills Grumpuses out there, and it has teeth. Bug snacks don't have teeth. And like Wiggle said, there aren't animals out here other than us. She's not wrong about the bones. Ah, uh, ah, uh, uh, time out. I gotta use a little Grumpus room. Now hold on. You saying Grumpuses turn cannibal? That's ridiculous. We ain't got the stomachs for it. Floofty eats Grumpus. Ah, no way that's true. Oh, it's true. Late one night, I saw Floofty dragging something along the beach. When I got closer, I saw what it was. 
a severed leg. And as I watched, they held it up to their mouth. And then, they took a bite out of it. Uh, don't mess with my head, Beth. You're gonna scare me snackless. Ah! Oh, Grump. Is somebody gonna check on Philbo? <laughs> I guess this is me. I, I guess we know what Floofty meant by interesting plans for their leg, which we turned into a strabby. Oh boy. Bilbo? Bilbo! Bilbo? That's not Bilbo. Oh, hey, buddy. Uh, sorry, I, uh, I got a little too spooked. And I came here to calm down. Hey, bud. Then who's in the bathroom? Huh? I, I don't know what you're talking about, buddy. Are you feeling okay? You look like you've seen a ghost. <laughs> well, uh, let's keep it together and get back to the fire. No. Ah. Well, whoever it was uh, left the bathroom, I guess. About that, what I miss? Can we just quit it with the spooky stuff? I don't think I could get any sleep. Darling, calm yourself. For I know what lurks in the shadows. <laughs> it's the queen of bug snacks. A bug snack bigger than any we've ever seen. She conducts this delicious orchestra, bringing music to our mouths. And once we're dancing to her tune, she gobbles us up. That's precisely right, darling. This story makes no sense. Why would Bug Snacks have a monarch? <laughs> oh, Wambus, it's just the title. I've seen Bug Snacks big enough to eclipse the moon. What else would you call that? Um, uh, a hallucination? <coughs> Believe what you will, Wambus. For I know what I've seen. Regardless of what sort of monster you believe in, something! He's looking out there, and it's only a matter of time before it comes for us. Grumpin' Snacks, it's coming for us. I said she's coming for us, yeah, yeah, she's gonna get us, oh, Ooh. No need to freak out. It's probably just a uh, uh, something safe. I'm freaking out, Wambus. I'm not getting eaten by some monster or Floofty just because you won't admit you're scared. Don't worry, Gramble. We'll go check it out. If something goes wrong, sacrifice Philbo first. <laughs> you are so mean to him. All right, Philbo, let's go. I'm sure it's perfectly normal and safe and fine. I think that sound came from the mill. Maybe there's a trail we can follow? Oh, I see our own little paw prints, Philbo.
Insertable shelf, bro. Beffa could need some new pillow. <laughs> she does. She is so mean to him. Oh, uh, hi. Yay! Chandlo! Chandlo is my favorite Grumpus. I will tell you more later. Hi, buddy. Chandlo? Whoa, it's Philbo. And somebody new? Hey, how are you? Doing better these days, yeah? Uh, Snacksburg is coming back together. I noticed. I saw the fire and I thought, whoa, Snacksburg's on fire. So I came down here to check on it. Then I remembered I left some stuff at the mill, so here I am. Is Shelda around? Oh, no. Nobody's seen Shelda since the, uh, the, the fight. Major bummer, bro. I could use her wisdom right now. Anyway, can't stay and hang. I gotta get all this stuff back to Snorpy right away. You know how he gets. Don't you at least want to say hi to everybody? Uh, if I do that, they're gonna want me to stay. Catch you later, bros! But but I do want you to stay. Oh, darn it. Oh, oh well. Hang in there. Let's get back and tell the others. Well... I, I guess it was just our new friend Chandlo. Definitely nothing spooky. Hey guys. Don't guess, worry, folks. I'm fine. <laughs> wow. Um, oh, and the, and the noise was just Chandlo. Oh, that's a relief. So that settles it. Things are good and safe and boring. But wait. What if Chandlo was the queen of bug snacks? Oh, please. That brute doesn't have the grace required for royalty. Be nice to Chandlo. Yeah. If anybody's queen around here, it's me. You know, the desert grumps had a history of matriarchal leadership. Real fascinating system they had. Every year, the ladies would go hunting, and the one to bring home the biggest bug snack was the new head honcho. Hello, Triffany. Nice to see ya. Did, did I fall asleep? Alright, I guess I fell asleep. I have mail. Yay. <laughs> Thanks for hanging out and telling scary stories. I'm not the biggest fan of getting spooked, but I'm lucky I've got a friend like you to keep my courage up. We got a decoration. Grumpy baby mayor. This is mayo. Oh, this is cute. Okay, seriously, is there literally nowhere I can look at my mail quests? This seems silly. Oh no, here it is. I'm a fool. I just didn't look hard enough. I want to go get a picture of a shy weenie worm. Or a scan of, of a weenie worm for Triffany. So we gotta go back to the desert. We can't help Chromdo yet, but that's that's okay. We'll get around to helping Chromdo. Mmm, snacks. This is the wrong way to the weenie worm cave. Weenie worms are over this way somewhere. You know, I don't see why Chromdo doesn't just come over to the uh, Snacksburg at night. I mean, I do. It's because he's coming up with excuses to not come back. Clean. Get out of here. <laughs> okay. I think that the um, tablecloth that Gramble wants is the uh, barbecue bunger, but we don't have a reliable way to stun and stop it yet. Nice to see ya. 
Why are you taking pictures of Philbo's house? You're a weirdo. Ooh. Oh, wow. Once there's ketchup on him, those weedy worms are anything but shut. I'm just glad I saw that from a safe distance. Thanks for the help. Hey. You know, Floofty's got a theory the barbecue bunger might secretly be spicy. I don't think so, but I could use some help proving it. Would you scan one that's on fire? Scan a flaming barbecue bunger. Don't mind the thunder, that's just thunder. I don't know if I have anywhere to put this drafting table. Oh, I do. Okay. Nice. Our house is quickly becoming very Triffany. What's going on? Going all right. Alrighty. Let's let's go investigate our new area. I want to go see. I want to go see Chandlo. We already got some new guys. Honeybee. These snacks will stick to just about anything, including traps. I heard honey is sometimes used as medicine, so it's healthy. Quooky. So fast that it evades capture. There must be a way to trip it. Oh, there's one. Sin a snail. Very slow, very sticky. Likes to stay out of reach. Mmm, <laughs> peanut butter. Yummy. Anything that touches it must be a way to melt its icy armor. Alright. So, you may be thinking, oh, it's just like pacing around. That's nice and easy catch. It is not. And I will show you why in a moment. It's a preview. Bop, bop, popsicle! Popsicle! It likes to ram stuff, and also it is covered in ice, so it will freeze us if we get too close, and it will freeze our trap, which will freeze us if we touch it, so we cannot simply catch that guy. We will need to be crafty and clever and have tools about it. Stationary lunch pad. Snorpy built these to get around more easily. Thank you, Snorpy. Whee! Likes to climb high structures. Maybe some sauce could get it to move. It likes peanut butter, apparently. This looks like it goes somewhere. I mean, I can't do anything about it, but it looks like it goes somewhere. We'll probably need to bait a bopsicle down here or something. There's a popsicle right now. Hey, buddy! Hey! 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 Oh my god, he froze that cookie! 
Uh, well, he didn't break that like I was hoping he would. Hey, there's Chandler. Snorpy? Snorpy! Bro, Snorpy, get out here! I'm sorry, Chandler. I'm not coming outside. I'm this close to finishing my next invention. Return to your lifting in peace. Snorpy, we talked about this, bro. You gotta go outside at least one hour a day. Gotta get some fresh air, dog. Guess what I'll get is the attention of the Grumpernati. Who? There's nobody out here but us, bro. Better to work in the shadows where I cannot be seen. Also, it's cold out there. Bro, if you're not coming outside, I'm bringing the outside to you. No, what? You cannot lift my entire house! Oh, yes, I can! I'ma lift your crib, dog! He's lifting it. Do not lift my crib, Chandlow. I have delicate instruments in here and... Lift in your crib, dog! There, I'm out in the fresh air. And I can smell the chemtrails. <sighs> That's right, bro. One step at a time. He <laughs> went right back into the house! <laughs> anyway, I love Snorpy and Chandler. They're great. Ingenious introvert inventor. Conspiracy theorist. Just about the worst hugger I've ever met. He keeps losing his tracking devices. Oh my god. Oh dear. <laughs> Supervio, Sonic the Hedgehog, VR Pecco, bro! All right, hey Chandlo. Whoa, it's you again. How's that sweet mountain air treating you, bro? It's easy to stay swole in paradise. Easy for me anyway. I'm Chandlo Funk Bun. With wisdom and lifting, <laughs> I got the full package, you feel me? Well, you come back to Snacksburg. Nah, I'm good. I mean, I like being in town, but it gives Snorpy mad anxiety. Why don't you talk to him? He's not good with strangers, so tell him I sent you. Okay. Let's talk to Snorpy. Snorpy's conspiracy board. He's managed to fit every single conspiracy into one paranoid blob. Oh my gosh, the little honey container that's grumpus shaped. Cute. Hi! Chandler sent me. Oh, he did, did he? My poor sweet Chandler has always been too trusting. What is your business with me? Will you come back to Snacksburg? Hmm. I'm not disinterested, but you're still a suspicious individual. I'm sorry. I propose a test. Here, take my newest invention. The Snack Grappler. Okay. I built it so that I could help Chandler with his basketballing problem. But I forgot that meant going outside, so you do it, and then maybe we'll talk. Okay. You got the Snack Grappler. So this lets us grab snacks from afar. As you might be able to guess. Hi, Chandler. I got this device. Nice, dog. I knew he'd warm up to you. All right, follow me. Anyway, uh, Chandler and Snorpy, they are very cute. I like how much they care about each other. It's adorable. Okay. Chandler, you broke it! Okay. Check it out. My own personal dunk zone. It's nice. Problem is... I lost my balls. They're stuck all over the place. I'm sure I could get them down without your help, but Snorpy made that grapple thing for me and I want to see it in action. 
Okay. Let's use the snake grappler. Thanks. Oh, I missed that one. Man, I was just doing that to be silly. I didn't realize it was the actual thing. Okay, it's fine. Chandler's okay with it. The balls have been secured! Alright, you got my balls back! That grapple thingy's awesome! I bet it can grab all kinds of stuff. Snorpy's a genius, bro! Check it out, there's a cine snail right over there! It didn't let me, though. I know it looks like a sticky dump truck full of cars, but it's actually a master climber. Even I can't keep up with it. I always wanted to climb like that. See if you can catch me that sin a snail, bro. Okay. Uh, let's let's see. I think I might need to combine some traps. All right. If we combine this one with that one and aim it over there. Trap. Pull that trap, dog. Yep. Got it. Little snail. Alright. You wanted to eat this? If you want it for climbing, we should probably put it on your little feet. Here you go. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I feel stronger already. Watch me vert climb right out of here. Race you back to the cabin. Okay, bye. There he goes. How do I get back? That's the mystery. Hmm. I don't think I can reach that actually. Jandlo, uh, you trapped me here. Oh, never mind, we're fine. No! Oh. Okay. Okay, cool. What? No, 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 no! Oh, dang. I got stunned by something. Maybe he'll do it again. He is really rolling, huh?
Oh, it's too fast. Took the chocolate and left. Clever little jerk. All right, we'll worry about it later. Chandler wants to talk to us. Hi, Chandler, buddy. I've escaped the dunk zone. Nice, you made it. You got back pretty fast for a newbie. Me, I got the same time I always get. I guess one bug snack isn't enough to push my limits. There's gotta be more cine snails around this mountain, dog. <laughs> Shad says, I'm here. Are the bungers okay? The bungers are okay. We saw some bungers. Ooh. Hello. Charmallow. It's literally on fire. Catch it. What, what is what the basketball vanished? Okay. Shattery the bunkers. Thank God. Chandler, I got you some guys. Okay. Let's go matchies. Whoa. Here. Bro. There you go. Yeah! That's what I'm talking about. I can't wait to check my gains. But before that, I got a situation. What's up? Honeybees flew off with my backup balls. Now my balls are up in the sky. No matter how shredded I get, I can't fly. Believe me, I've tried. You've tried flying? You gotta be my wings, dog. Master that grabber, 
Catch me those honeybees. <laughs> I'll do my best. I think they might only be out during the day, though, because I don't see any more. No, you're gonna hang out. Might just be stuck in there for a bit. I can do something with my time. catch him like this. I don't remember how we're supposed to get the uh, Charmello to interact. I don't know if that's in this flight path. But I think you're supposed to like set the trip shot on fire or something. set on fire just straight up by yourself and then you can touch those guys but that's a little dangerous It's a couple. 
couple of small popsicles. That's it all. Cool, great, okay. Yay, we did it, technically. We did it in like the worst possible way, but we did it. We can go um, do that thing for Chromdo now if we want. May as well, since we can't uh, get the honeybees right now. I know I could sleep to pass the time, but where is the fun in that? Hey, I've got mail. Hello? Huh. I think Snacksburg can stand to be a little more fashionable. Here's a look I'd love to see. A Grumpus Rob King, all four types of peel bug. Please, make it happen. Okay. Sure, I didn't... I've not even found the other ones, I don't think. But sure, I'll do it. I'm pretty sure I've literally only found the orange peel bugs. Anyway, I gotta help Kramdo with his little feet. I think we'll be able to catch the barbecue bunger now. Bunger friends, you will finally get your wish of bunger. You wanted popsicle feet, right? Popsicle. <laughs> popsicle. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Sweet relief. These things better not melt off. Anyway, a deal's a deal, friend. The bridge is yours. Some assembly required. Assembly. Oh, and so you know. Crumdomart is not responsible for any loss or injury suffered as a result of the use of its products. Okay. Hey, if you need anything else, anything at all, please, please, please call your friend Crumdo. Okay. Oh, I'm already sweating. It's too hot. It's too hot. Oh, I don't want to. There he goes. Bye, Crumdo. Alright. I think. I don't remember how I'm supposed to get over there. If I can get over there. But we did get Cromdo back home, which is important. I think that's the tablecloth snack that Gramble wants, and also... We need to see one on fire. Hey. Hey. Get out of your designated bunker area. That's right, follow me. Come here, Bunker. 
Come here, Bunker. Come here, Bunker. Come here, Bunker. Hey, Bunger. Yummy. Bunger. Bunger. Come here. Bunger, Bunger, Bunger. Bunger. Yeah, no hard feelings from Bunker, apparently. Which is great. Yes, thank you, Bunker. <laughs> Too far, I guess. Gotcha. We are back up. Bunger on fire! Bunger on fire. Alright, we got the bunger. We cut the mysterious tablecloth bug snack, and we also got a picture of it on fire. For, for Triffany, for some reason, she wanted to see this. Chromdo Mart is back to action and it's all thanks to you, pal. You can find and close one subscription to Chromdo's Gratitude Plant, TM. Put it outside to show your friends how much I like you. And because I'm such a generous guy, the first month is totally free. Thanks. Ooh. Looks like Barbecue Bunger can't stand the heat. I feel bad for the little guy, but I guess this means I win my debate with Floof <laughs> Hey. Looks like Desert Grumpus's might have used sodies as an ancient form of irrigation. Could you try that out with the old farm and garden grow? Please scan what happens so I can show Wambi. Okay, I'll do my best. Oh, oh boy, the drama. Befica, to what do I owe the honor? Oh, uh, I'm just curious what you think you're doing here. What am I doing? I'm working the counter. Cromdomart's back in business, baby. Don't act all innocent. If you start running scams again, I'll know. Yeah, yeah, because you know everything. And here's what I know. You're not better than me, Beth. Nobody likes all your snooping around. I don't care what they think about me, as long as I make sure you get what you deserve. Don't I always? Are you gonna buy something or what? Yeah, I'll take a tall snack water extra fizz. Coming right up. <laughs> okay. <laughs> What's happening, Baffa? Hey there, bestie. We've got a new target. Cromdo's back in town. I I know that greedy crumbag has some juicy dirt. I'm not talking about his pathetic little lies or scams, either. I'm sure you'll find something good. Don't let me down, bestie! Okay, bestie! Hey, Crumbo, it's interview time. All right, I could use some practice. They'll be interviewing me every day when I'm a gazillionaire. <laughs> Let's go. Hello, Crumbo. Who are you? Brrrt! Business King, Sales Savant, future CEO of Starbugs, <laughs> the one, the only, Crondo Face! Why come to Snack Tooth Island? You ever smell the future, kid? Huh? I can tell you, Lisbeth stank of opportunity. She came on TV talking big about this new superfood, and I wanted in. 
So I quit my dead end job and followed that stench of possibility. Let's see. What was your dead end job? Yeah, I used to go door to door selling gruel to grandmas. Paid on commission, for grump's sake. Gruel, huh? That's rough. Uh, thoughts on bug snacks? <laughs> what do I think of? Delicious! Irresistible! Marketable! They're gonna catapult me straight to the top of Money Town, baby! Why did you leave town? Yeah, I tried to make use of what Lisbeth didn't need anymore, and Befica didn't like that. Yeah, she went and told everyone that I'm a thief. Weren't you stealing? I was salvaging! That's a community service, pal! But Befica planted evidence in my hut, said I stole her diary. So I did what any honest grump would do. I ran. That doesn't sound very honest to me, but all right. Any info on Lizbert? Ooh, don't get me started. Everyone here thinks she's so great, such a fantastic leader. But I know the truth. She came here to stroke her ego and get Eggabel her fix. The rest of us were just pss, disposable. Disposable? That's pretty cold. That's Elizabeth Megafig. When push came to shove, she abandoned us. What do you mean? I, I gotta confess, I was thinking about sailing home after things got hairy. But when I went looking for our boat, it was gone. There's only two grumps missing. You do the math. <laughs> I bet Liz and Egg are living large in New Grump City by now. Calm down, Grumbo. That's enough for now. Yeah, 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 I get it, pal. I'm not the nicest grumpus around. I learned early on that life is like a box of trash. You always know what you're gonna get. Trash. Just go check out where the boat was. See what you think of Lisbeth after that. Oh, thank you. A map to the boat. Thanks. At the end of Boiling Bay, past the ship, Lucas was definitely over there. You'll see. All right. Well, thanks for that. People have quests now. Sweet. All right. Uh, before it gets too late, though, I can grab these people's quests at any time. I'm gonna go grab some honeybees for Chandlo, hopefully. Oh wait, nope. I gotta donate the bunger. I gotta donate the bunger because it's the tablecloth creature. Oh. Is that right? Yes. How you doing? Grumdo! <laughs> Not even Thor likes <laughs> Barbecue bunger. That looks like the cloth my mom used to put out for Sunday picnics. Oh, grump. I gotta go. I got tears pouring out of my eyeballs. Thank you so much! Hay bales. Huh? When I was living in Simmering Springs, I sometimes saw a snack that hid in the bushes and wouldn't come out no matter what. I'd love to see what it is if you could find one and donate it. Ooh, a Tropica bug. It's just like a Shishka bug, but with a tangy sea scent. Thank you so much. Okay, cool. I'm glad that uh, he accepts retroactive snacks. That's actually very helpful. Where the heck are you expecting me to put these hay bales, though, Bessie? Outside, I see. Find <laughs> out what crumb though, does it midnight? Alright, um I'll I'll grab the quests later, I think. Yeah, I gotta go get those honeybees. I gotta go get them. <laughs> I can do plenty of side quests when everyone is in town for me to have the side quests to do. Okay.
Maybe I can just quit. Oh! oh my gosh. They got me. Ugh. Everything's all sticky. Blech. Okay, we're free. And I got a bunch of them. Hey, Chandler, look what I got. Peace. Only missing a couple now. Alright, you wanted to eat them. Just making sure. Bonobi. Hi. Yeah. Sure, let's do that. Bonobi. Hi. We didn't have honey sticks for hands. Whoa. There you go, bud. Oh, crumb. My body's tingling. I think that's the power. I don't think that's the Bro, power, buddy. You really did me a solid. If you want me back in town, I'll be there. But I ain't going anywhere without my main dog, Snorpy. He'd be lost without me. I can't get Snorpy to leave, though. Whatever's keeping him here, he doesn't want to talk to me about it. Says it's a secret project. A secret? But I got a feeling he'll talk to you. <laughs> All right. Now we talk to Snorpy. Chandler said you have a secret project. Ah, yes. I wish I could tell Chandler everything, but knowing the truth would only put him in more danger. Anyway, you have my thanks for helping him. Perhaps I can trust you after all. I am Snorpington Fizzlebean, engineer and seeker of truths. Here, new chum, lean in close so that I may bestow a hug on you. Oh boy, ah. I like hugs. Ah, what an excellent hugging experience that was. We shall have to do that many more times. Now, I need your help. Are you willing to risk your life for the greater good? <laughs> sure, whatever. I would die for you. <laughs> let, let's, let's be nice to Snorpy. Splendid. There is another device you will need. I've hidden it inside the Bugwatch Tower. Once you have it, I will tell you more. Ugh, one of those flying bug snacks has set off the tower's alarm system again. Although you seem to have avoided being trapped inside. Is it this? Clever. All right, return to me for the next phase of the plan. Yep, it, it was the trip shot. I got it early. Amazing. Ah, chum, I have such a craving for quookies. Why, my craving is so terrible that I would like my teeth to be quookies, so that I may taste my own teeth, you see. Sortable shelf, those answer options, though. Oh, what do you know? I have some quookie. Here you go. No. Teeth. Ooh. <laughs> Splendid. I no longer have to worry about psychotronic torture or cavities. Hmm. But now I hunger for charm mallows. Can't ever have enough charm mallows. <laughs> All right. Now I gotta figure out how the heck to get a charm mallow, which only I'm comes out at an night. Unusual signal. I believe they may be key to the Grumpinati surveillance system, though I'm not yet sure how. Their signal should be safely contained inside my stomach. And Whoa, Snorp Dog, you got the radio working? Let's put some jams on! <laughs> there, no, not now, Chandler. The radio is <clears throat> broken. Amazing. I like that I could like come back and see them having the conversation. That's 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 weirdly adorable, actually. I love that. Okay. Well, Charmella only come out at night, so uh, back to town to do more things. <laughs> Hello. Oh, hi there. All right. Hey, yeah. Kondo. You look like you're scheming. Hey, pal. I got a business opportunity for you. Sure. I got a tip that Trifity found some sort of treasure map while she was digging around. 
They say it'll lead to a huge bug snack. Imagine what a snack that size is worth! I was thinking of taking that map off her paws. That's where you come in. Get me a bug snack so delicious that Triffany would die for it, and we'll trade! Then we'll split the profits 50-50. Did you say 15? I clearly said 50. <laughs> Buff a locust. Oh, everyone has so many quests nice now. Nice to see ya. Hi. Oh, Where's not too bad. Actually, would you mind helping me out here? What's up? I dug up this journal out in the canyon. It's... Um, a record of historical landmarks and bug snacks. I want to follow in the writer's footsteps. So, uh, if it's not too much trouble, would you want to go exploring with me? Sounds lovely. Oh, you're too kind. The first place of note is in Flavor Falls. Meet me there whenever's good for you. Okay. Well, see you soon. Apparently she pushed me over and we're going now. Alrighty, what we're looking for is a big stone grumpus face and a bug snack called a pinkle. Okay. Oh, I think I can actually catch this guy now. Hang on. Sorry, Tiffany, I need to catch this. I did not catch the whole sandwich. That's okay, though. We are now full on snacks. Hey, there's the stone grumpus face. Evidence of ancient grumpus activity. Did they live in this cave? Yes. Hey, I found it. I found the stone grumpus. That there would be the work of the ancient stone grumps, a civilization from over 5,000 years ago. All that's left to them is statuary and some puzzling mechanisms. Unlike the desert grumps, these folks didn't preserve their dead. In fact, the writer thinks they would sacrifice them to the bug snacks, like an offering to the gods and whatnot. Interesting. This means bug snacks may be a more lasting legacy than any of the stuff they built. Have a good one. All right. Would you like to eat a pinkle? Pinkle. Let's let's transform a paw. Ooh. Oh wow, that's a good one. You might have noticed pinkle statues scattered around here. These must have been an important food source to the ancient grumps. That's everything, right? Well. I was hoping to find a camp of some sort. Maybe a corpse or two. But oh well, there's plenty more spots to check out. Let's head back to Snacksburg for now. Okay. That's great, because I'm like full on snacks, except for that pinkle I fed you. Haha, <laughs> I beat you to the town. Haha, <laughs> I got you.
There's a lot of snacks around here, but I have so many. I should donate some stuff to Gramble. Alright, well I know Wiggle wanted the sandwich. I caught the whole sandwich, just in case she wants it. How's it going, Wambus? Don't mind me, I'm just stocking up on sauce. Mmm, sauce. Hey there, Cromdo. Yeah, hi. Wiggle, where are you, Wiggle? Wiggle! 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 How you doing? Wiggle? Yeah, where's Wiggle? <sighs> well, I don't see Wiggle. I'm gonna talk to Wambus. Sure is a nice day, isn't it? Yeah, it's not bad. Nothing yet. I think something might be wrong with the soil. Oh, there she is. Too dry or... Maybe too wet. Either way, something needs fixing. Why don't you fetch me a big old fibrous bug snack, like a spuddy? I got a plan. Okay, I'll get you a spuddy. Hey, Wiggle. Feed me the sandalpede, and I'm sure to have a hit. All right, how much of the sandalpede did you want? Because I got the whole thing. Okay. She just wants a couple of them. Alright, uh, here you go. Sando! <laughs> Have some sandwich likes. Sando! I'm worried about messing with your structural popcorns. Mm -hmm. Oh, I can feel the harmony building! within me but I'm still not quite there I'm sure this seems excessive but it's just it's the it's the creative process mm -hmm. do you know how I wrote do the wiggle how no but do tell I stumbled into the studio two hours late I hadn't slept in five days and I was holding a banjo for some reason I couldn't remember my own name, much less what I was going to sing. So in my haze, I just made it up on the spot. Two weeks later, I had a platinum record, and apparently, I'd invented banjo pop. Hmm. Needless to say, it's been a hard act to follow. Hmm. How goes the music? Darling, are you ready to help me top the charts? Sure. Triffany told me about a bug snack in the desert that only appears during the full moon. A creature in tune with the cosmos. Something that beautiful must also be significant, no? <laughs> Catch one white cheap boof. Okay. Gramble, I'm donating some things. Here. The size of your heart has grown, and so is your inventory space. <laughs> Yay! Here, have Go some on, Charwee. Just follow Papa's pointer, uh, or or don't. That's fine too. How's training? We're off to a bit of a slow start. Oh, it went so easy with Sprout. I just don't know what's going wrong now. Maybe, maybe Sprout can help. I'm sure he can show Charwee the ropes. What do you say? Sounds good to me. Alrighty! Now just use Sprout to lead Charwee back to my barn. <laughs> Alright. I'm not 
allowed to jump down? Bouncing him around. Why are you wanting to attack him? Or at least start but I'm a long ways off from teaching them to spell out we love you Papa oh I, I have to cover myself in sauce every morning just to get them to pay attention to me oh, but geez. that's just the way it goes you pour every little bit of love you got into somebody and you just hope they notice mm. Gramble. okay Gramble. ah nothing like getting to it is literally raining right now, but all right. All right, well, I do appreciate the more inventory space. Let's see if we can get those charm allos. The charm allos give off an unusual signal. Yeah, they are. I believe they may be key to the Grumpanut. The Daemon system has not yet shot. Their signal should be safely contained inside my stomach. And... Oh, oh smart dog. You got the radio working? Let's put some jams on! Uh, not now, Chandler. The radio is... Alright, that's one. Alright, see you later. Bopsicle. 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 Alright, let's take a look at this guy's flight path. Ideally, we want to sink it over the water, I think. Snacks. Charm. <laughs> Enjoy your little chocolate hands. Ah. <laughs> With that blind spot in place, I can safely return to Snacksburg. Meet me outside. Oh, good. Hmm. These sort of self clear of in the rain. <laughs> I suppose it's now or never. Oh. Snorpy's ready to go? All right, dog, let's do this. In just a moment, Chandlo. You've been an invaluable ally. I'm even tempted to call you a friend, but quietly so I'm not overheard. <laughs> Bro. If I didn't think it'd crush you like a tin can, I would hug the grump out of you. I love you, Chandler. Oh, what the grump? Here it comes! Okay. 
What expert hugging that is. You do that hug. Yay! Chandler mushed his face right, in the camera. Let's get out of here. Race you back to town, Snorp Dog. No, please don't make me run with you, Chandler. I'll go weak in the knees. If you're not up for it, I could always carry you. D no, no, that's quite all right. They're so cute. You're a loss. See you back in Wait. town, bro. Chandler. Anyway, that's a nice little two for one. Here, Pecco. Hugs! <laughs> Our Grimpuses. Everything is filling out so nicely. Philbo wants to talk to you. Philbo. Bro! Come check this out! <gasps> Philbo told me you were living here, and I thought. You know what this place needs? Walls! Thank you, Chandler. It's my bad for not finishing it in the first place, though. I was gonna have it ready in time for you, but then all that stuff happened. Chandler! But sooner or later, Chandler gets the job done! Enjoy your walls, dog! Chandler, my friend Chandler. Chandler, I'm interviewing you right now, Chandler. Ooh, gonna quiz me, dog? I'll crush your questions! I'm sure you will, buddy. All right, who are you? Chandlo Funkbun. I lift. Yes, you do. Lifting is a job? It's a way of life, bro. Anything that needs to go up. Logs, buildings, balls, Snorpy. I'll get them there. Well, I come to Snack Tooth Island. If I want to push my limits, I got to go somewhere extreme. I heard nobody comes back from this island. Sounds like a challenge to me. That's fine for you, but what about Snorpy? Hey, I'm always looking out for Snorpy. I know roughing it isn't his style, but there's no way I was coming here without him. How did you two become a thing? I don't know what you mean, dog. We're like the sky and the sea. Been together since the dawn of time. That's adorable. Thoughts on bug snacks? Bug snacks are strong, like a primal kind of strong. Like they own this place, and I gotta respect that. Why did you leave town, bro? Snacksburg was a disaster without Lizbert. I couldn't stop all the fighting with lifting or wisdom. I gotta keep things chill for Snorpy. He's got a lot of that social anxiety. Any info on Lizbert? Lizbert is top dog, you feel me? She really inspires me to test my limits. But, uh, that's about it. I'm really tighter with Egabel. Alright, what can you tell me about Egabel? Egabel's a sweetie. She was always looking out for me. Showed me how to stay safe while still pushing my limits. But she was always pushing herself way harder. Working out? Yeah. She asked me to train her. Surprised the grump out of me, because she really wasn't built for that kind of stuff. We'd go running every morning and lifting after lunch. Though she would get real down on herself sometimes. But she never gave up, and I respect that. All right, so uh, what happened to Lizbert and Egabel? I wish I could tell you. Those two were strong together. I can't think of anything that could take them down. They gotta be okay out there. Somewhere. Thanks, Chandler. You really slam dunked my questions. Bro, that's not. Just don't. <laughs> he didn't anyway, like it! I recorded Egabel's progress while we were working out. She shared some pretty private stuff. But maybe it'll help you bring her back to us. Well, don't let you. me down, bro. Egabel's chest key. Thank you. Thank you, Chandler. Befica says we're besties, but you're my actual bestie, bestie. Insertable shelf, bruh. Alright, let's check the mail. Ooh, what's shaking, baby? My mail. Thanks for helping me and Snorpy come home. I found a lot of choice wood up on the mountain, so if you ever need me to swap out your paneling, let me know. 
Greetings, chum. I am having a fine time at Snacksburg, thanks to your efforts. I thought I would give you this random gift of news and foils because it makes for great insulation and not because it blocks a certain wavelength of mind beams. Good day to you. Hey. Have you caught every kind of snack in Garden Grove? I have not. Whoa. Bro, think you're up for the Chandler Dunk Bung Challenge? Go to the hoop outside the mill and make two baskets without letting the ball hit the ground. I know you can do it, dog. All right. Chandlo certainly believes in me. <laughs> we have a weather vane. How nice. And lights! This actually feels like a place now. A new bed would be nice at some point, I think. Maybe some more windows. I don't know. Oh, big snoot. What does Chromdo do at midnight? Sure. It's late. We're in town. I can try shooting some hoops till then. Snorpy and Chandlo. Aw, cute. Alright, that was not without getting the ground. Ah! Hang on. Oh, I can't use my, my snack trap items. Boo! fast, huh? I also gotta actually get it into the basket. Yay! What do I get for doing Chandler's Extreme Sport? Sergeant Shelf has to leave and we'll be back. No worries. Bro. You're the new Duke of Dunk. I always believed you could do it, but more importantly, you believed you could do it. Clear eyes, full hearts, big hoops. Ah. It sounds like catching snack pods. If you could catch five of them in under 30 seconds, that would be stupendous. Oh boy. Alright. I'll do my best, I guess. I love it. Cute. Oh, let's go see Karamdo. Notice me. Great. I'm glad he doesn't care. Where are you going, Kromdo? Where are you going, Kromdo? Where are you going, Kromdo? Yeah! Eh, you 
somebody there? No. You didn't hear anything, pal. You got that? Not a single peep. I have never seen you do a funny little dance ever in my life. Never <laughs> ever. Uh, okay. Everyone's asleep. I'm gonna go get that spuddy for Wambus. And also the white cheap poofs, if they're still around. I don't know if they are, though. Oh, they are. Okay, cool. I don't gotta make Spidey. it crash anymore. Alright, we got we got the chi poof for wiggle. We got the spuddy for Wambus. <sighs> I don't know what other I don't know what other side quests we can do quite yet. I don't know where Buffalo Locusts are. I gotta interview Snorpy. be able to get Befica's item now. And I also need to catch a lot of stuff in the garden grove. Maybe I can find all the snack bugs. 30 seconds though, that's a tall order. Wambus, you're awake at two in the morning. Wambus, you heartless monster! Stop burying the little ones! Oh dear. You mind your own business? Besides, I thought you wanted more bug snacks. You know that's not what I meant, and that's not gonna work anyhow. That's so. Well, you go and let me know when your pets are expecting. I will. Come on, guys. I got your spuddy. That's not for me. No, you go and feed that to Felbo. Then, hole up by the outhouse for a spell. When his business is done, Gather up the fertilizer. Ah! Yes! Fertilizer! Wambus, you're a weirdo. You know, uh, night soil, waste, spud cruds. Come on, don't make me get crude now. This is a pretty crude quest, dude. I'll wait till Philbo's awake, at least. I gotta go get things. Than like catch stuff immediately. What I should do is find where the snack pods are. And then grab them. Alright, there's one. Here's a third. 
third one. He wants five, so I need to find five. Is that Vapica's thing? Looks like it. A sack that one of the Grimpus has lost. Too heavy to pick up with the snack grappler. about that. Okay, maybe it is. Am I just supposed to hop across then? Guess so. Alright. Welcome to Buck Snacks. We are platforming, baby. It's not like any sauces, huh? Yeah, that just goes to Flavor Falls. It's technically out of the area we want to get. Not quite.
to see if I can find more snack pods around here. But I've only found three. There's this guy. There's that guy. There's the one back here. There are only three about. That does not bode well for me. Take a lot of screwing around. it the way I wanted it to. Hmm. I might have to come back later for more optimal snack pods as well. <coughs> Look at that colorful little loading screen. Lots of people are here. Adios. One of the white cheap booth. <sighs> secret. It's a secret cheap booth. Here it comes. The ballad of a generation. I keep saying this. Book snacks. Bugs snacks on the island in my mouth. So tasty. Great. Well, that's all I have so far. It's a work in progress, but. What do you think? That was great! Don't patronize me, darling. The truth is written all over your face. I'm sorry, I tried. I don't know why I bother. I know I don't have any real talent. 
My whole career was an accident. <sighs> Sorry, darling. I need to be alone for a while. Oh my gosh. <laughs> wiggles, your wiggles. Oh yeah. Thanks for finding my dice bag. I was playing games in the cave by myself when a frighter tried to climb in the window. I panicked and threw my bag in it and missed, lol. Huh? Whenever I'm in the forest, I get startled by a bug snack that jumps from tree to tree, but it's so fast I don't even know what it is. I'd love to have one in my barn, please. Okay, that's those, uh, cob hopper guys. What's going on? Oh, hey, <sighs> How you doing? Hey, Philbo. Here, eat this spuddy. Spuddy. Oh. Mm -hmm. Nom nom nom. <laughs> have a little potato leg. It's good for you. Aw, thanks for the gift, buddy. Yep. Though, suddenly, I'm feeling nature call. Sorry, gotta go. It's definitely not weird that I'm hanging out here. Vera Pecos's wiggle is getting very fruity. Here, Wambus, this is the worst quest of my life. Vera Pecos, hey, me running from the bathroom. Here. Woo wee! That stink could raise the dead. Whew. That's bound to be potent enough for my soil. Thanks, stranger. Sure. I hate this quest, bestie. Vera Pecco, Bug Snacks is now an MMO. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna donate these baby bobsicles to the barn. One, two, three! <laughs> That's enough, Chandlo. You're going to make your biceps explode. I'm not stopping, dog! I almost got it! You know, I could just make a digging device. Uh, that's not the point, bro. I can do this! Chandler, don't if hurt you yourself. Insist, I'll go ready some ice packs. Don't hurt yourself, Chandler. Hey, Snorpy, can I talk to you? Are you mad? <laughs> I can't have my secrets plastered all over the front page news. What if your name wasn't attached? Hmm. I suppose I can reveal a tad bit, so long as my identity is protected. All right. <laughs> We're behind the house. Amazing. Who are you? <clears throat> I am Snorp Redacted Bean. And I have devoted my life to inventing devices that foil the machinations of the Grumpinati. Welcome to Snacktooth Island. Well, I was dragged here by my dearest friend, Chan Redacted. <laughs> He thought I needed some fresh air or something. Much as I hate the outdoors, I simply can't say no to him. Aw, the little, like, hands on the face. How long have you and Redacted been in a relationship? Well, I, 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 I mean, we've been together since kindergarten. It would make perfect sense if we were together together. He's never said we are, has he? So, Snorpy and Chandlo are boyfriends, but Snorpy does not know that he is Chandlo's boyfriend because he is a little stuck in his own head. It's, it's very cute, though. You can tell that they care about each other very much. We'll be right back out enjoying the redacted. Alright, thoughts on bug snacks. I surmise they are some sort of synthetic life form designed to beguile our taste buds. If bug snacks are artificial, where do they come from? I'm so glad you asked. I believe there may be a factory located on this very island, hidden somewhere deep underground. I have charts. Let me show you my charts later. Okay, I love charts. Why did you leave town? I was too exposed. Floofty tried to wrap me up in that experiment, now that Lizbert and Agabel weren't around to occupy them. I could see that this was the next step in the Grumpinati's plot against me. Grumpinati plot? Lizbert disappears, we are hit with an earthquake, we suffer a snack shortage, all that in one day? Do you really think those are all coincidences? The timeline is on my charts. Any info on Lizbert? Elizabeth Megafig was a curious sort, and had a foolish bone in her body. 
She could rival me in wit and chat. Redacted. Low and arm wrestling. We would share secrets now and again. Dreadful, terrible secrets. What terrible secrets? <laughs> I'm not telling you the terrible secrets because they are terrible and secret. Someone is like flailing around, but oh no, it's one of Gramble's buddies sticking his little tusks out of the barn. Okay, I think we're done here. Excellent interrogation, chum. So great that you deserve another hugging experience. Yeah, ah. hug. <laughs> hey, this must not go on the record. Elizabeth Megafig discovered something on the island and came to me for help. An entrance to the underground, locked behind a strange device. I assisted her in unraveling its secrets, and soon after, she vanished. You must take extreme caution. I can tell you where to find it, but the rest is up to you. Thank you. Snorpy gave you a map to a mystery door. Here, Pekka. I want hugs. You can have hugs when I'm not when I'm not on the clock. I promise. Near the mountain peak, hang left from the trail and take a narrow lunge north. See attached map. The pressure plates won't activate. I think the ancient purposes need to be fed first. What do they like to eat? I forgot to open Agabelle's chest! Oh, I'm a fool! Also, where did Chanhole run off to? He had a quest. Hello, darling. Ah. All right, we'll find Chanhole later. Let's go open the box. It's down here. <laughs> Video diary number three. I see we have enough grumpuses in town that we could hear them all running to the bathroom in a panic. Sorry, Agabelle. I had to open it for the lore. And to help you. Damn, 1,000. <laughs> you scoping my form? Egg? Uh, egg. Uh, 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 hey, Egg, bro. Good workout today. Let's hit the shower. No, this is pathetic. I won't break yet. Wow, that's hard boiled, Egg. Who lit a fire under you? I just need to get strong enough to catch my own bug snacks. No disrespect, but you've been hitting the snacks pretty hard already. Ah, not you too. Oh no, I'm saying you aren't doing this for snacks alone. I can't help you if you're not honest with me. I'm just so sick of feeling like an empty shell. I want to stop relying on everybody else. I want to keep up with Liz for once in my life. Respect. I know things are tough for Liz right now. But dog, she loves you. You two will be back to normal in no time. But I don't want to go back to normal. I don't want her worrying about me anymore. <laughs> when you love somebody, you never stop worrying. I'm worried about her, too. I just want to take better care of her. And that starts with me. Yeah, I get that. I will get you there. Thanks, Chanlo. Uh, maybe I'll hit the showers after all. I smell rotten. You know, I'm glad Agabelle had support while she was around. That's good. That's cute. Yes, we are Pekko, I promise. Hey Chandler, what's your quest? Yeah, dog. I'm trying to pull up this stump so I can build a bebop court. I'm about as swole as a grumpus can get, and I can't move this thing at all. I gotta be stronger than a grumpus. I gotta push my limits, you feel me? <laughs> yeah. Uh I need your help to bulk up. If you go find the biggest, buffest bug snacks around. And I eat them. Maybe I'll gain their strength. Catch aggressive meaty bug snacks. Hey, pal. All right, Befica will probably be yep in Philbo's house up? as usual. Rombo is quite the singer. O M G. 
That explains why he's always so jealous of Wiggle. Why would he even hide that? It almost makes him kind of likable. <laughs> Adorable. Jamie, hello. Nice to see you. Hi, Wiggle. Hey there. Hi, Wiggle. <laughs> right, okay. We have almost everything from the garden grove. Just missing a couple things. The sweetie fly, the cob hopper. Is that it? Oh, that's it. Let's see if we can get them. Chandler wants aggressive meaty bug snacks. I think we're gonna have to get him some bongers. more of those uh, snack up pods around I should look. I need to get the cob hopper for the bramble quest as well I think that's gonna be way too far away. No, okay. A preview. Ah, fresh meat. Yes, freshly caught bungers.
afraid to hick net. I don't know if that'll be uh, good enough for the top hopper. Feels a little low. Thanks, Bunger. Very cool, Bunger. Someone here. Eh, heck. Hey, Bunger. of meaty bunger. Oh, that's definitely not tall enough.
And of course, that jump way over there. Oh, that's not going to be high enough. Maybe that'll do it. Yes! Come here! I believe that's everything in the garden grove. So we can donate this to Gramble now. Sort of a shelf. Bunger. The bungering! Worry not, we will get more bunger. Yep. Quest completed. Bunger for Chandler. Oh yeah. You cut everything in Garden Grove. You've even found a few I've never seen before. Cob hoppers are so weird, lol. Thanks for sharing. You caught me a cob hopper. It can hardly stay still long enough to get a big ramble hug. Thank you. Hey buddy. I was strolling through Snacksburg when I slept on a binopper and sent my sack of laundry flying. If it stuck up high, could you help me get it down? Hey buddy. I saved another letter from the river. Any idea who might have written this one? Baja Tockroach, healthy training. That's definitely Chandlo. Alright, let's see. I like it. That is a much nicer bed. It's even got a plush strabby. How cute. Preview dog bed. I would rather have the knit dog bed than. I know you've been spying on me. Oh, you keep out of my business. Happening. Or you'll what? You're the one keeping secrets. You can't touch this. Yeah, 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 yeah. You think I'm the only one who's sick of your gossip girl stick, huh? Sooner or later, you're gonna be back in your cave all by yourself. Whatever. At least then, I wouldn't have to hear your slimy voice. Ooh, the grumps are fighting. You okay? It's fine. Cromdo didn't say anything I don't already know. It's been a rough day. Why don't we uh, unwind with some snack pods? <laughs> All right, we'll get you some snack pods. Three grumpy snack pods on the beach. She went home fast. Let's take a nap. Here, Pekka. Grumpus is fighting. I can sell this. Anyway, I would rather have the knit doggy bed than, um... What's up? Hi, Chandler. What's up? Yes? What's up, dog? Alright, you got to finish it. I'm fine, thank you. I'd rather have the knit dog bed than a ratty sleeping bag from a cave. Hope that is understandable to the people. I 
think we'll, we'll finally be able to catch Snakiris. Oh, we stunned it. Boiling Bay. Oh, we don't have Boiling Bay yet. It really just let me run through the water for a little hot second there, though, didn't it? I'm not seeing any of these snack pods. Oh well. We'll find them. Eventually. Maybe I can do something with Snorfy's clue then. You had the mountain peak came left for the trail and picked up an arrow left from the sea catch. Okay. Maybe I can go that way. Maybe I can find some new snacks along the way. To preview as we pass the mill house. Everything's coming up mill house. Huh. 
nutty snack pod. Great snack for hiking. Snack pod. Okay, it's the dunk zone. Looks like the uh, thing is working properly now. Rainbow sweetie fly. Set it around fast enough to evade traps, but eventually settles down to rest. shot than that. Maybe I'm not allowed in there yet. Wire myself. One day I'll catch the big one. Poke around this way much. Oh, hello. New clue. You picked up a video diary. Thank you, I will. I will watch this once I get back to town. Sortable Shelf has to head out a bit early and is feeling pretty tired. And says thanks for the stream. No problem. Uh, you get a good rest, okay? What's going on? Oh, hi there! Ah, I see Philbo's thing. Once again, it is time for a platforming challenge. Without the use of my tools. First, I want to watch Diary 4. Okay, let her fly, and I'll show you my incredible aim. Just try not to hit Bilbo again. <laughs> when you're finished with your amusement, come see me. We have work to do. Get out of here, Lucy. You're ruining my shot. Jeez. What's wrong? There's something awful about that grumpet. What's 
Disney's not so bad. They're just passionate about science. Sure, science. I heard about their experiment, messing with your body. It's weird. What's weird about it? I mean, look at you. How many bug snacks have you had? Hey, in my professional medical opinion, I am perfectly healthy. We're all eating bug snacks, and we're all fine, so why are you getting on my case? I'm just worried, Bill. You're not acting like yourself. You mean I'm not miserable. I found a way to make myself useful and happy to finally take some control over my life. And you're just upset because it doesn't involve you. I'm not upset. You don't need me anymore. That's great. Go be with Floofy. Maybe I will. What's going on, Wiggle? Oh, dear. Things got intense, huh? Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Hey, Chandlo? Yo. Okay. Man. All right. Some more bunger, I think, for Philbo. Not Philbo, Chandlo. Just so we're making a little more progress. As fun as it is to wander about aimlessly. Alright, don't have that yet. Snacks show up the more I hang around here. Ooh, a puffy snack pod. Just a little spicy. Mostly I was grabbing that one with the grappler because it seemed like the fastest way. Quickly filling up on um, my backpack here. They're meaty, but they're not aggressive like bungers are. Apparently, there's peel bugs around here. That might be worth investigating. Now that, now that I think about it, I did see some little holes in the walls. We are Pecco. So many bugs in our sex. Right? Oh, 
Right, how do you like that? buddies right now. Okay, let's look this up here. Now that we know where it goes out, maybe Strabby can help us. Those buddies are gonna keep beating each other up, I guess. Sugar pine as well. Right, I was gonna catch bungers. Looks like there's the only the one around here though. Alright, let's donate these extra guys to Gramble. I'm sure he'll appreciate it. And then we'll go catch a last bunger from the uh, first area for Chanbo to eat. For Chandler. Look at all those guys we found. Thanks, Bunger. Bunger, Bunger, Bunger. Making sure nothing was hiding in there. How's it hanging? Let's eat. I got you some bunger. Yeah. Have some little springy fry legs, bud. Bro. Bunger. Yeah. Enjoy your springs. Oh yeah. You may not like it, but this is what peak performance looks like. Does it? Or you know, almost. 
There's no gaining him without training, dog. I got a new exercise in mind. If you're ready to spot me. Sure. I set up these hanging weights all around town. I'm gonna jog around. You use your grappler to knock him down on top of me. Oh dear. That sounds dangerous. Maybe for you and Snorpy. But this is what I gotta do to challenge myself. Oh dear. Now get me to five weights. Let's do this, bro. <laughs> I missed. Sorry. Okay, they reset. It's fine. Ooh, that's heavy, bro. Crondo, how are you? Wanted this. Today. Want something? I missed again. I'm sorry, Chanbo. Doing my best. That bounced right off of him. Okay. What's going on, Wiggle? Oh, hey there. Hi, I'm helping Chandlo. Keep him coming. More weight. Chandlo, this doesn't feel safe. Okay, there's one back there. See what you got, Stump. Oh, Grump. I think my bicep exploded. But that's okay. I just gotta rest up and keep training. With this bug snack body, I'll get there. I don't know about that. If I don't, who's gonna have Snorpy's back? Oh, buddy. It's okay. Look at that sad little face. Rebecca. Last guy who said more weight died, bro. Things Chandler does not care about, apparently. Literally exploded his bicep, the poor thing. Aw, they're all cuddled up. That's cute. Okay, I want to see if I can get Philbo's thing. Not sure how easy that's going to be, though. Aw. Right, Chandler's a good boy. We love Chandler here. Okay, I think I might need a running start off the ramp on the house. Thanks for getting my laundry back. I guess I really ought to watch my step from now on, but at least I wasn't holding anything flammable this time. Huh. I feel like I left Simmering Springs too soon. What if there's a muse hiding there among the snacks I didn't see? I would be delighted if you could catch everything there just in case. All right. Let's see, how are we doing on quests? All right, she specifically wants snack pods from the beach, so we're gonna have to go there anyway. I don't think we have access to buffalo locusts yet. Bilbo wants to talk to me about something. Is he wandering around? No, he's asleep. Okay. I'm gonna go back to the beach and see if I can find any of those snacks. Just real quick. like tiny grumpuses. Alright, Bethiko wants three of these. Snack pod. And this also helps us a little bit with Wiggle's quest. 
Baja Tockroach. Tockroaches that took on the flavor of the ocean. Still very timid. Baja Tockroach. Amazing. Baja Tockroach, healthy training. I think that would be, yeah, that's Chandler. Okay. And in regards to Simmering Spring Snack. Okay, we're missing one. I wonder if it's Standard Tockroach. Okay, they just move further down the beach. Alright, these are not grumpy snack pots though. playing around on the course. Ah, there we go. There's a second one. Snack bar. We just need one more, I think. We're back. any more of the little colorful guys. I might have to come back. Yeah, okay, nothing in there. Just figured I would check. Oh, oh, there's one. It's awfully far out. There we go. Alright. We got Bethika some snacks. And we're a little closer to filling out the uh, whole springs. Let's give Chandler these Tockroach and Bethika these snack pods.
It's the morning, so people should be awake by now. Hello. Enjoy your funny little uh, cockroach ear. Hi. Hi. I need to talk to Bethika. Excuse me. Enjoy being a wee little gummy creature. Always rely on bug snacks. <laughs> Isn't it so sad that I call you my bestie? <laughs> I like barely know you. And if I did get to know you, you'd probably hate me for it. <laughs> ah, oh well. Enjoy it while it lasts, Biffy. Are you like good? I know that's a silly question. No one in this town is ever like good, but. All right, what's in the mail? Thanks for feeding me that Baja Tacroach. I wanted a Tacroach, but I heard seafood is way healthier, so bam, best of both worlds. <laughs> I was gathering fertilizer in Flavor Falls when a Lalo scooped it right out of my paws and flew off. Help me find it. All right, Wambus, we'll take care of that. In the meantime, though, Chandlo gave us a hammock. Yeah! Now we're styling. Alright, Philbo wants to talk to us about something, but if it's oh, anything what? like the last few times Philbo wanted oh, to hey, talk to up? us about something, it's going to be like a long cutscene where we all get to hang out and learn dark secrets. And uh, we have one minute to go, so maybe not right now, Philbo, but next week we can start with that. I hope that's okay. I hope that's okay. Anyway, uh, that's going to be it for this week. Thank you all so much for coming. I hope you guys are enjoying the playthrough. Uh, our village of Grumpuses is filling out very nicely. If you guys are enjoying the bug snacks, uh, please consider donating to my Patreon if you can. There's a Robo Cat shaped button underneath my streaming window. If you can't see it, try stretching your browser window out a bit as it does like to hide. $1 a month will get you access to stream-related art before it goes up on other social media or writing if I do writing. Uh, $5 a month will let you vote on what I make and $10 a month will get you access to Photoshop files if process is your kind of thing and if there are Photoshop files to be had. Uh, thank you all for coming. I hope you had a good time. I hope you have a good rest of your evenings and I hope you are all staying safe and taking care of yourselves. Hopefully I will not lose all my saved data and have to do everything again this time. I don't think so. I don't plan on messing with anything that would require uh, messing with old files. Anyway, good night, folks.